Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to today's episode of Showcase on Fallout 4. So, do you feel thirsty? Because I sure do. Especially for doing this video. Still trying to re recollect all my footage, so I'm going to make this video as fast as I can. But this one's going to be a bit different than how I normally do it. And you'll see soon enough why. But still, if you're thirsty, don't worry. There's a perfect weapon to quench that thirst. <laughs> uh, thirst Saptor. Yes, the gun you first got when you got here. It shoots water. Now, you at first think, the water gun can't hurt people. You're right. But do you remember how it's used? That's right, you short-circuited short the, the buddy's power armor, whose name escapes you right now. He's a side character, do not care, we killed him. Using the Thirst Scepter. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, it's very fast threat rate, high rate of fire, very low weight, good accuracy. Not much value, though. But let me in on a secret here. You see this on the table? It's going to become your worst enemy. This weapon, and tomorrow's weapon. Your worst enemy is this. Remember this. You'll need a lot of it. Anyhow. So what can you do with the water gun? Besides annoy your friends. Well, don't shoot at other people, because for some reason they get hostile. Or you found that out the hard way. Before we get into upgrading this weapon, keep in mind that my gunslinger perk is maxed out, so see the full damage value of this weapon. Which isn't saying too much. <laughs> so, when we upgrade this, if you successfully got all the other things, you can see you can actually upgrade to an actual weapon. The Nuka-Cola gun, the Cherry gun, and the Quantum gun, with varying degrees of different effects. They're all using different types of ammo, too. So we'll start off with Nuka-Cola gun. So, after you acquire this, the pretty much this variant of Nuka-Cola ammo will be radiation, similar to the Gamma gun. Now, you see the fire rate's only one shot, so let's hope it's good. The value has increased, Damage isn't that great, so we'll test it and see. Let's take it down to the fire range and do a shot. And you only get one ammo, as you see. Oh boy. That is a long reload time. The projectile didn't even go that far. Eh, good splash damage. I got hit by that one. Let's try it again. Oh, that range is awful. Oh, it's long reload time. Oh boy. So, but I also mentioned how to get this ammo. Remember the acid I mentioned? Yeah, you're gonna need a lot of it. Just for one shot, it takes two acid. Yeah. You know that stuff that you never collect? You know, that stuff. Not to, not to mention, this stuff still takes other valuables. For instance, the quantum ammo takes gold to make. Gold! How many, How much gold do you have? Not a whole lot, I bet. It's only because I'm level over 100 that I collect this stuff over time. But no matter. Let's try this against some psychos. Uh, one shot didn't even do that? Oh my god. Come on. Okay, I killed the scum in one shot at least. But the other the raider psycho over there survived. Oh, I survived a second shot. Well, they healed in between that first shot, but then again, they have plenty of time to heal. At least the splash damage is good. That's not saying much, though, for this weapon. Take it against a Myrlet Queen. Well, that did nothing. Long reload time. Yep, certainly did nothing. Oh, screw this. I'll use my fucking Magnum. It does the job a lot easier. Oh, that weapon's awful. Anyway, let's go on to the second version, the Cherry Gun. Now, I don't have a whole lot of ammo for this, because I didn't have a whole lot of Nuka Cherry to make ammo for this. But however, this one's more direct damage. It's a shot and explosion. And a lot more damage, too. Instead of 60, you got 101, or 181. The range is also much better. But fire rate is still one shot, and you kind of guess where this is going. Yeah. You get the idea I'm not impressed with this gun yet? <laughs> so, we fire it. It's a very slow projectile, and it does seem to sink a little bit. And yes, the same fire rate, or same reload cycle. It's for, oh. Uh, good job pouring, this, pouring a drink there, buddy. Spilling it. It's valuable stuff. Each shot is valuable. 
I'm saving in between scenes here so I can just conserve ammo. For the nature of the ammo and how long it takes to make this weapon, I'll only be able to face against big enemies. And you saw right there, it did almost nothing to Marla Queen. Same for the face. Probably hit the shell again. Let's try again. Come on, aim for the face, aim for the face. There you go, shot to the face that time. Did not really not much better. <laughs> and my robot's dead. And I will be due too soon, since I'm out of ammo for this gun already. Great. Let's take it against uh, Alpha Deathclaw. Just see if there's any difference here. Fire, I missed. Great. Uh, no bottle, not reload. I missed again. Oh, no bottle again on the reload. Oh, aim at the ground. Did almost nothing. Great. Oh, fired again. Oh man, his weapon's bad. Slow projectile speed, slow reload, low firepower. It's, it's just bad. Let's hope the quantum gun will do make up for it all. I have the most quantum shots, too. So, the quantum ammo has 422 damage. So that's the highest of any other gun. And I have 20 shots of it, too. Why I have so much quantum? Because I like decorating my walls like shiny shit. It glows. It's awesome. It glows on dark, too. Now. Well, the weapons. This is probably the best one of them all. Well, in multiple reasons. As you see, the projectile does not drop in this distance. Still slow, and the iron sights are pretty useless. Decided to try it anyway. Reloading cycle still just as bad. Let's take it over to my other shooting range to see if how, mu how much projectile I drop. Hmm, didn't even drop at all. This might be a good thing. Could actually use it possibly at a distance, but mind you, the projectile speed is still shit though. So let's try it against the Marlar Queen. I can use it at distance. Shoot, I missed because he sidestepped. Very slowly. <laughs> Fire again. I'll add some damage. Finally, something that actually works. You know what? I'm just gonna get rid of this Mylurk. Okay, kill it. Just destroy the lesser Mylurk. This is good. This is actually a weapon that might work. Yeah. Alright, so that worked. With assistance, anyway. Let's try against a Deathclaw. Now, can you get find any stronger Deathclaw than this? Let's try it. All right, so this may this may work. Mind you, I still have my robot with me, so that'll take off most of the aggro. All right, it may work, but still, it's this is not really desirable to use against any of this caliber. <laughs> it's such a slow weapon. If this was faster, if this gun reloaded faster, it would actually be good. But because of this long, and there goes the bottle again. It's fucking. What's up with that buggy reload cycle? But no matter. Despite its high firepower, we can all see that it's just not very viable to use. Even for like very temporary situations. If against multiple opponents, the long reload cycle just destroys all purposes. Good, it's crippled and I finished it off. Ugh, finally. Okay, I'll be doing uh, pretty much a pros and cons and score for all three variants of this gun. So let's begin. On well, the pros for the plain Nuka ammo one, well, it has good splash damage. That's it, for pros. Well, the cons, damage is incredibly low. It's effective against very few enemies. Long reload cycle. And projectile speed or projectile drop, you know, it doesn't go very far. Very poor range. <laughs> so yes, not very good for that weapon. Going to the score for the Nuka ammo variant of the Thirst Scepter. Damage gets 1 out of 10. Seriously, I think I could take the weakest melee weapon and do better than this when this thing could do. Accuracy, 3 out of 10. If it went further, it would be better. Design, 4 out of 10. Mainly because this weapon has three different modes and choices. Ammo, 1 out of 10. That ammo is expensive and you're not going to have a whole lot of it. You're not. Miscellaneous, 3 out of 10. Mainly because it's about Nuka World related and you can kind of choose your own ammo type. But still, that doesn't really save this weapon from a score of 12 out of 50 in total. It's bad. We all saw it here, it's bad. The Alpha Gun, or not to mean, the Gamma Gun could do a lot better of a job with radiation than this thing could ever could. Next one. Now, going on to the Nuka Cherry ammo variant of the Thirst Sapper. Pros? It actually does damage. That's gotta be a pro for this weapon. And has 
decent splash damage. That's it for pros. Cons. Mediocre damage. Long reload cycle. Poor range. <laughs> oh. And ammo is very expensive. So this Nuka Cherry. Those are the pros and cons. Moving on to the score for the Cherry Ammo Thirst Stammer variant. These damn names. Damage gets 3 out of 10. At least it's usable. At least. Accuracy? 4 out of 10. It's better than the other one, since it actually goes a bit further and has, you know, actual damage and splash damage. Design 4 to 10 have remained the same, because still Nuka Gun. Ammo still a 1 out of 10. That all the acid being used and everything else, you will not have money ammo. Much ammo. Misc though is 4 to 10. It gets one point for actually getting, you know, being a, a weapon. <laughs> compared to the other thing. That's barely a weapon. But in total, it's 16 out of 50. Not much better than the other gun. Now on to the Nuka Cola, you know, Zapper variant. The pros are it's the strongest of the three. The ammo does not drop off. It does pretty good damage. On the pros or the cons, I mean, the load cycle is incredibly long. The projectile speed is not fast, and uh, the ammo is incredibly rare. So yes. Those are the pros and cons. Moving on to the score for this weapon, the Nuka Quanta ammo variant. Damage gets 7 out of 10. It actually did good damage. But however, that poor DPS. That poor, poor DPS. <laughs> Accuracy, 6 out of 10. Since the ammo doesn't drop off, it's only the projectile speed that's the real big problem with this and the reload time. Design, still 4 out of 10. I've already explained why. Ammo, 1 out of 10. We all know the reason why. Misc gets a 5 out of 10, because it's the strongest ammo variant and it's actually a usable weapon. Somewhat. But despite all this, the total for the Nuka Quanta ammo variant gets 23 out of 50, which is still bad. All of these weapons are bad. Bad and horrible, in my opinion. We can all see the reasons why. Or you can just keep it as a water gun and have fun with it. That's what I probably do. This weapon's fun, unlike the other ones. Would you believe it's the last weapon you get in this DLC? Like the potentially last weapon? What a downer. Could have been awesome. But why developers made it this way, I'll never know. They couldn't think anyone actually enjoy using that. Ugh. But that's not the weapon I'm gonna end on. There are better weapons. Tomorrow's weapon will be better, I think. <laughs> Hopefully. But for today, that's been Showcase. I thank everyone here for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care out there.